Magic, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the council. So I'm returning to this game for the first time in like two weeks, I think. Last we left off, um, I remember because I edited the video, uh, is we were looking for this spearhead. Um, I honestly am not too sure where I'm going to find it. I need to find specialist in esoterism, esotericism, I don't know, well, I don't know. Artistic depictions, sacred texts, um, so, and I'm getting conflicting information too. So, I must find the Holy Lance, according to Wolner's information, the lance is copper rimmed, it, which makes sense, it's not going to be made of gold or anything like that, it's not going to be any fancy material, it's very likely going to either be uh, one metal or an alloy. Piaget said it was in the shape of a leaf, in the painting of Longinus, I noticed that it had the shape of a spear. I noticed on the painting of Longinus it had the shape of a spear, which is what Mortimer's opinion confirmed. The statue of Longinus, of Longinus shows it in the shape of a leaf. By translating P Piaget's notes, I learned it was, in, it was shaped like a spear. So I think Piaget might be misleading me with that, with the leaf part, but I could be wrong. I noticed a discreet fish symbol engraved on the tip of the lance of the long Longinus statue. In the biography of, Long of Longinus, the centurion, the lance is described as being engraved with the symbol of the fish on the tip. So, I think the fish one might be right, maybe, but I could be wrong. Let's talk to George Washington. Good evening, Mr. President. Good evening. Um, oh, I'm gonna use, um, I'm back on the trail of my mother again. I don't have time to explain, but would you know anything about the Holy Lance? I... Ah, uh, that's good news. But be careful, Louis. You might end up getting noticed. By who? Do you know anything or not? No, I regret I don't. But why not ask Von Wallner? Theology von is his Von Wallner. Okay, that's how you say that's it. That's an idea. In that case, I'll try and find him. You are keeping up the good work, I see. But I'm telling you, keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Yeah, You're right. Kidding. Thanks for everything, Mr. President. See you later. Really? That's it? Oh, I'll read that in just a second. Um, can't use that on you. Great. Okay, I'll read this. Mysterious notes. Cool. Uh, notes by D. Riche. Sarah Dirichet or Louis Dirichet? Can I go out to the docks? Oh, is there anything on the door? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. He does. Because he's got money. Hey, caramel water. Or golden elixir, I guess. Yeah, I think I went all the way around, so I'll go back down there and see Mom, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I've looked for everyone that I could. Everybody seems to be missing. Is Mother actually in here? The Bible must mean the lance which finally took the life of Christ. Four Gospels each give an account of the death of Christ. Let's see what they can tell me about the lance. There's nothing about the lance in this account of the crucifixion. This apostle does not mention the lance in his description of the death of Christ. There's no mention of the lance in what Luke says about the death of Christ. Ah, there. When they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already, they broke not his legs. Yeah. But one of the soldiers with a shimmering lance pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And okay. he that saw it bore witness. And his record is true. And he knoweth that he saith true, that mm. ye might believe. A shimmering lance? What is this shimmering telling me? Shimmering lance. Um. 
yeah. medieval hermetic traditions evoked the idea of using noble materials for relics, mm -hmm. which the monasteries often made themselves in order to attract pilgrims. Yeah. Of course, they had to inspire greatness. So here, we might think of gold, whereas a centurion could not have hoped for anything better than copper at the so time. So it's definitely the copper. True lance would not have been a luxurious weapon. No, definitely not. Know who it is? Is this going to be the same? The name of the Roman soldier who killed Christ never appears in the biblical canon. No. Yet, it is said that he was a centurion and was called Longinus. Okay, so it's copper for sure. Possibly with a fish. What about this one? It's the fish, spear shaped. I can see this lance has a spear shape. It is copper rimmed. And it has been engraved with the symbol of the Christian fish on the tip. Guys, I think this one might be it. Shape of a spear, shape of a spear. I'm pretty sure it might be that one. Would make that's cool. That's kind of fun. Um, examine. This lance has a leaf shape. Mm -hmm. It is copper rimmed. The symbol of the Christian fish is engraved on the tip. Wasn't there another one? There's two of those then. So it might be this, guys. This might be the one. I must be sure of my choice. I cannot get it wrong. Am I absolutely sure this is the one to take? I think so, yeah. Join my mom at the wharf, okay. Yeah, these ones are leaf shaped. I think that Piaggio is trying to mislead us. sarcophagus of Lord Mortimer. It's the only sarcophagus in this crypt which appears to bear the Mortimer family name. What, what ancestor can it be? There's no inscription. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, oh, it's far person. too heavy. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. There's a copy No, it of said Lord it Mortimer. opened. It said it opened. It showed it being open. See? It shows it being open. What the heck? Okay, whatever. Well, time to get out of here. I feel like this isn't gonna be easy. I'm pretty sure I have the Spear of Longinus, however his name is pronounced, but we shall see. It's weird that Lord Mortimer has a grave here. It, sh it seems empty though, like, I don't know if that's a bug in the game or something, but no, not this way. Okay. Okay, guys, I cho I, I've chosen the Lance of Longinus. I succeeded in extracting all the information from Von Wolner. I explored the Crypt of the Mortimers. I found all the copies of the Lance of Longinus kept by Lord Mortimer. I learned that Sir Holm gave a mission to Von Wolner. I did not succeed in convincing Piaggi to help me. I have not found all the clues enabling me to identify the Lance of Longinus. Wait, I cho it said I chose the Lance of Longinus. Does that mean... Oh my gosh, I think I did it, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't unlock anything. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I might, totally might be wrong. Leap of faith. Am I wrong? Oh gosh, please I'm don't let me be wrong. i time as it is. Mother's waiting for me on the wharf. 
I can only equip, oh, I guess I can equip two. Cool. And I've got some points back, good. So, let's uh, go back. Um, through here. Uh, I really hope I didn't choose Ron. <gasps> sticking your nose everywhere again. Wow. What? What's the matter with him? Excuse, Excuse me, monsieur. Me. I don't follow you. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. Why? What are you talking about? What I am mean? talking about what you are doing. What? This conference is going to boost my career. There is no question of me letting you ruin everything. I just surprised the AG and Volner talking. You are about to rob Mortimer. What? Give me what you took from him immediately. Let's keep calm, please. Oh I, gosh. I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, I need um... I have to cut this short, quick. Uh, make him see sense. Which way do I need to go? I think it's this way. I might be wrong. Is that like a negative effect I have? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go um, this way. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. Can't go there. Okay, so this is the wrong way. Why would it let me go in there? That's weird. Okay, um, can I move? Okay, there we go. Run. Let's get going. For someone else. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. This one, I feel like this might loop around. I might totally be wrong. I feel like this is a trap. Nope, I'm gonna get going. I'm not gonna talk to him. Okay, come on, come on, quick, quick. Quick, quick, come on, come on, come on. Oh no. Oh ah, no. Louis. Hi! As luck would have it. Come, my boy. I would like to have a word with you. Oh, is this a choice thing? Sorry, I do have to get going. I'm not allowed to leave. Yeah, of course not. Ugh, god damn it. Come, come closer, please. It's time we had a little chat. What's... I don't want to talk. Wrong, my lord? Um, uh, tell me. What's with all the bodyguards? Louis, it's time you found out the truth. I've been observing you since you arrived. I see Don't you sit down, Louis. all over the grounds in the search of Sarah. Yeah, that's kind of what I would like to prevent here. her from leading you even further down the wrong road. Um. The wrong road? Louis, Sarah has made her own choices of her own free will, okay. and I would like for you to have the same chance. You okay. see, Sarah and I have known each other for a very long time, Louis. Yeah, okay. I am aware of her theory about me, uh -huh. about Gregory, uh -huh. about the demons. She's right. Look at me. I have inhabited this body since 1191. Oh For my god! 602 <laughs> I thought you were gonna convince have me been otherwise. This, dear William Mortimer. But why me? Why do I tell you about the greatest secret ever revealed to man? It's that's right. I'm coming to that. Don't worry. Uh how many are you? Lucifer, the fallen archangel, yeah. left heaven accompanied by that looks like a phone number. <laughs> 306,668 angels. Really? Is it true that there are that many of you? No, I assure you, Louis. 
Forget your Bible class. It's ridiculous. We are not angels. We don't have wings. Uh -huh. There is certainly nowhere near a million of us. And for that matter, no sacred human text represents us correctly. Okay. There are several families. And the family to which I belong has eight siblings, including Gregory and myself. Uh -huh. So Gregory is your brother? Yes. What can I say? <laughs> You can't choose your family, but it is very difficult to know exactly how many of us there are because a large number of our kind remain hidden or never reveal themselves even to us. Yeah. Okay. Other questions? Um, how would exactly you qualify your species scientifically? Hmm. Good question. What is your area of expertise? Oh, um, ah. Uh... No. Not My a lord, scientist. to tell you the truth, I don't see myself as a scientist. Well, consider us as a simple species still unknown to most of men. Thus, we are born. We have the capacity to change bodies, that is all. Uh... And you truly have the power to manipulate the thoughts of men. Yeah, that's I'm right. Wondering. Every demon has the capacity to infiltrate the minds of men and to read and steer their thoughts. Guys, this is some weird stuff. And what do you do with this power? We help them, of course. And how is it you help men exactly? Let's just say that without us, man would probably never have left his cave. Fire, the wheel, tools, writing, we are the spark that inspires man to search, to grow, to evolve. Uh-huh. Can you tell me more about your capacities, your supernatural powers? So, I definitely think Louis is a demon. From my point of view, they are perfectly natural. Well, Louis, just because the monkey does not fly, doesn't mean that we should consider the bird a supernatural creature. We this are is a all different comparison. part of a grand design. We are simply made like this. By developing our art, we are able to read thoughts as well as write in the minds of men. Uh -huh. It is possible for us to make them bow to our desire, but it doesn't work without leaving some scars. Pass. Why should I trust you? I'm not asking you to, Louis. If you are still in doubt about the demons, I can assure you that won't last long. What has my mother got to do with all this? She embarked on a crusade many years ago uh -huh. to kill all the demons. That must have upset you. I imagine you retaliated. No, I'm afraid she never forgave me. Forgave what? We met when she was still just a young woman. I appeared to her in a different form because I didn't want to reveal the identity of Lord Mortimer at that time. She was looking for someone interested in the occult to decipher an ancient book. Yeah, we spent okay. many years together until I revealed my true nature to her. And what then? happened next? She felt betrayed and manipulated, tricked. We had yeah. an argument, she rejected me, and then she simply disappeared. Just I after that, she mom. joined the order and began to relentlessly hunt us down. Okay, uh... Since when have the demons used to other questions? Okay! Continue. Louis, it's time you opened your eyes. Come, you'll soon see. After you. What's going- Guys, I'm so confused with this. Post new role. Is there a connection with Elizabeth? Did what happened to Elizabeth Adams have anything to do with you? Mm, unfortunately, the poor girl became an issue between us in spite of herself. A family of demons is still a family, and as in all families, there are disputes. Elizabeth's family, the Adams, has always been under the patriarchal control of my father. As he and myself are not really on very good terms, sending poor Elizabeth here was terribly rude of him, really. You did accept, though? Mm, no, I would say rather I was presented with a fait accompli by Gregory and 
went along with the intention of helping her. But uh -huh. this is my castle, and everyone is the master of their own home. So you killed her. And so? You killed her. The child was already condemned, Louis. My father would never have let her be. I had to pass inside her mind and, yes, make her take her own life. Oh, no. Trapped between the unyielding control of my father and your mother's terrible treatments? Oh, I wouldn't wish a life like that on anyone. Would you? So neither my mother nor Peru were ever guilty. You just gave me the runaround with that whole investigation. Now don't take it the wrong way. I was obliged to keep up appearances so that Gregory wouldn't suspect me. And it enabled me to size you up, Louis. If you could manipulate us mentally, mm -hmm. what's the point of all the theatrics of the conference? You must suspect that we asked ourselves that very same question. For many mm -hmm. centuries, we didn't organize any conferences. And most of the time, them. it ended in civil war between demons. Many of us were killed during this period. Uh -huh. The idea of organizing conferences was the answer to everything. The interest being to erect some rules among ourselves. Our family first divided up all the principal countries of the world. Now, whenever one of us wanted to propose a major change between these countries, they summon the demon in question and initiate a conference. The demon that initiates the proposition doesn't have to give notification of the subject of the conference beforehand. Consequently, we participate along with our best assets. Once uh -huh. the humans are brought together, the conference begins, but we are forbidden to use our talents to influence the participants. The first meeting is held in order to expose the subject to all the participants, followed by several days oh of reflection. Oh my gosh, this was a loaded question. I didn't realize that, guys. I'm sorry. But not to impose our will. A second meeting closes the conference with a final vote. So, uh -huh. for you it's a game, isn't it? Yeah. I understand your remark, but... After living several centuries, you stand back and enjoy what reflection and pleasure you can. So, Von Borchert, he was looking for the Alazif for you. Exactly. Alazif has always belonged to my family, Louis. And with good reason. My father wrote much of it. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what you've done with... What? You mean the Alazif? No, I already know that. Sarah came here with it and got rid of it. I was thinking of Von Bortert. He isn't essential, but he is a trusted person. He's a prisoner at our headquarters in Paris. All right. I hope I've answered all your questions, Louis. Yeah, get, can I go now? Come, I have something to show you. Oh my gosh, I just want to go see Mom. Mom's waiting for me. There, There is one question that remains to be answered. Why me? Why tell me all of this? Oh. Haven't you guessed yet? Uh... I really have no idea. Come mm -hmm. on, Louis, make an effort. What do you think could be the reason? Look, we are of the gods, Louis. Always have been. Sounds like more you, of a god complex. As much as me. You are one of us, Louis. You too are a demon. Are you serious? You yeah, know that's it. Why you can Deep pass down it. inside, you know I am telling you the truth. Where do you think that natural, charismatic presence comes from? Your talent <gasps> must already have manifested itself somehow. Have you ever had any visions? No. Stop it. It's absurd. Have you never found yourself suddenly inside someone else's body? I called it! No. Guys, I told you. Asleep, maybe? That's how it often happens the first time. Your spirit wanders unconsciously. My mother can't have lied to me about that. It's true. Your real mother would never have lied I, to you. I... What do you mean? Louis. I would rather you found this out from her own lips, but... My real mother? It's important that you know. What? Sarah is not your mother. I, what? I'm sorry you had to find out this way, Louis. But you must know the truth before you commit an irreparable act. No, I... No. It, no, it's not possible. You are my son. Did I just faint? Oh. Cure negative alterations. Hi, Peru. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, well. So now you're his bastard. No, 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 no. You true. really took me for a fool. Don't make a move, you clowns. Everybody keep calm. Don't say a word or I'll shoot your kid. 
Uh, not so clever now, are we? At last, I found a way to put the pressure on you, oh, Mortimer. Oh, goddamn. Just calm down, monsieur. You stopped me from ending Oh, gosh. All. Are you kidding me? Because of you, I've had to pay for it. You don't know what it's like. He's in your head. He's in your soul. I never want to feel that again. Jack, okay. I did not betray you. You're just like him. Okay, okay. Um... Jack, I've only just found out that I'm his oh, son. Oh, god damn it. Me. You don't understand. No, 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 don't kill me, You're don't kill me. You're in his clutches. Everything was set up to bring you here and reveal the secret of your birth to you. Open your oh, goddamn fudge. eyes. You've always been under his thumb. So, what are you gonna do now? You've just found out your true nature. What difference fudge. does it make? Uh, immunity. Make him believe that you already knew that. Difference. Jack, I can assure you that what Oh, thank goodness. Just oh my gosh. Makes no difference. That's what you think. But you're already in his hands. And you oh my gosh. Know it, Louis. No, Jack. Jack it's don't the shoot. contrary. Don't shoot everything me again. that's been happening here has been carefully planned by the Golden Order for months. And everything is going exactly as planned. Lower your weapon. It's all right. It's over. You'll make it through. And you're going to get your life back. You're just like him. No, no, no. You no, are no. already. You can't see it, or you don't want to see it, but it's already too late. Come on, come on, come on. Fact, Give me my answers. I'm running out of my devil sword. You always have a choice. You know very well what will happen to you if you shoot. God damn it. Uh, your daughter grew up without a father. She doesn't know Mortimer and if he shoots, they'll be. I brought that up last time, and it was not a good idea. Jack, I'm the Oh, only thank goodness. I chose right guys. I chose right. I'm just asking you to trust me. I'm not against you. Trust me. <laughs> it's over. Come now. <laughs> you know what I told you. Evil and good depend on you and not on your nature. <laughs> yes, it's true. And the same holds true for all of us. Okay. Monsieur Peru, I am willing to guys, overlook oh, this gosh. You can thank my son for that. Oh, I think I heard that son. you ought to take your leave for your good and ours, as well as that of your daughter. Poor man. Oh, guy, that, that guy's twitching. Guy's twitching. Oh, shock, I'm sorry. Don't you kill him. Can I go now? Can, like, I get off this godforsaken island? So who's my real mother then? Not too shaken up. You've experienced many significant events since your arrival. You can say that again. For now, I think you ought to find Sarah, my son. Don't you call me your son. You ought to talk things over with her. So she's been lying to me all along? Let her justify herself. What's done is done. Sarah must explain herself. You must clear the air. We'll have all the time we need so, like, to talk afterwards. But all in good time. B before you join her, I'd like to give you something. As a demon, I would like to introduce you to your first talent. Uh, my what first talent mean? is going to other people's mind, my son. bodies. Relax. You hold immense power. It's already there inside you. Empty your mind of all thoughts. Just let me show you the way. I should relax. Open your mind. Hear I don't trust voice. this, guys. Guys, I have Feel a the bad idea. And listen to what has been happening I to you. So bad about deep I don't like inside. This. But which you have been conceiving. Uh, sure. Trust uh, yourself. It's all already I already kind of figured he was I, a demon, but I'm like having a... I can hear something. And I, I called it no, Man or Son, too. It's a sound very, very faint. That's right. Concentrate on it. My voice is growing fainter, but I am here. I... Whispers. Words. Mixed voices. Mm. Huh. Focus on one of them. Don't be afraid. I... Do I have to do anything here? I sense a stream. Some words are clear, but not all of them. Let them enter into your mind. I... Hear them. Now... Now I can hear a clear voice. It's well, Doc Louie, 
Congratulations. What was it? You are now able to read people's minds. What oh, the I, hell? What? You heard me. From now on, I did hear whenever you. <laughs> a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. So, if you need to know something in particular from someone, all you have to do is make them think about it. Uh... But... I'd be violating their minds, wouldn't I? No, no. Nothing of the sort. You won't really be penetrating their psyches. Let's but just say just you'll like be an, an picking up residual signals emitted by huh. their thoughts. It isn't intrusive at all. Rest assured, oh, there are also no, a few not, rules you need to know in. that oh, govern no. this talent <laughs> out of focus. when used between ourselves. Okay. okay, yeah, there we go. You can read the thoughts of demons as well as of humans. Okay. But be careful. A demon more experienced than yourselves will know that you are spying and will often react quite violently. Like Mortimer. It's considered bad form to play around the psyche of another demon. It's a question of courtesy. But okay. let's be clear. What oh my gosh, is this is like the longest talking form part. is getting caught. So I would advise against trying to read the thoughts of Gregory, for example. It's okay. Home? Yes, the old grump is touchy and rather a stickler about the conventions. Mm -hmm. On that note, go and see Sarah, Louis. Otherwise, she might leave without you. We'll continue this discussion later if you want. Just join me in my study when you've finished. Thought reading. What? I have this power now! You're now able to hear the superficial thoughts of your interlocutors. Interlocutors? Guys, I don't know. Each, each use of mind reading costs one essence point. You can earn one back when confronted to an immunity, two by exploiting a vulnerability, and three by consuming a devil's thorn. Guys, the devil's thorn is so much Oh, shit. I've been wasting it. I've been wasting it, guys. You're right. I need to go now. See you later, Father. One more thing. Oh, if you that want felt to know gross. the truth about your birth, ask her about Paris, 1763, at 12 Rue des Martyrs. That's okay. where she disemboweled your mother to steal you from me. Mom. So Sarah isn't really... It's not that I regret all these discussions, but I must hurry to the wharf. So, like, is she really my mom? Or, like, is he getting into my mind? Oh, I haven't explored this part. Like, kind of haven't. Okay, I want to look around here. I'm going to need some more stuff. I didn't realize Devil's Thorn would... This is so weird. This is, like, so late in the game that they're giving me all this stuff. This is, like, so late in the game. Oh, there it is. Good, good. So I have three essence points right now. Oh my gosh, guys. I have no idea what to think of this all. You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, I our should- personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, what Julie. the Calm fuck? Down. Julie, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. Oh gosh. Ooh, okay. Um. Uh, frick, what's her? Emily, put the weapon okay, down. Okay, good. She, she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, uh, no, to no, be no, no, fair, no. we've all made mistakes. Didn't... You shoot and your her, sister? Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are you? Shut your oh, mouth. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, you can you not choice, fight with each right. other? No, 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 you no, 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 no. People according to your own desires without any scruples. What? Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. True. Shut it. And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. Emily. No, 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 Look no, no, at no, me. no. Emily. What did you say? Uh, we're not like Sarah. 
No, I'm not like her, and never will be. Okay, um... You're not like her. Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily, and Emma would never have betrayed me either. No, she... she wasn't like that. She was loyal. Yeah. But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... Your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. Yeah. And she would never have talked, even But I thought torture. it was you that killed your sister, so what's going on? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there, for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Uh... Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I okay. have to know anything but that damn book. Okay, anything but the damn book. Okay. Um, Mortimer is a demon. Emily Mortimer is a demon, in the literal sense of the word. What a Lord Mortimer has been around since the third century. I did it, guys! I did it! I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh! So keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did Louis? I. Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I do, I do, I know, Emily. But it's the truth, Emily. Oh gosh. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such I beliefs. I know, I know. Do you but... remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In yeah. his study, he keeps the Mortimer come on, family come on, tree. Come on. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade, and they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... I'm not, I promise. Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. It's true. All right, I believe you. Okay, cool. Thank him. You owe him your life. Oh, I she does. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. Not your son, Mom. Or not Mom, Sarah. I really thought my next breath would be my last. Well... Anything's possible. This is no time to be joking. Just help me climb aboard this boat, and let's get off of this cursed island. No, you no, have to have some I'm explaining not going to do. Anywhere, and neither are you, until you've told me everything. For crying out loud, what are you talking about? No, oh, no, no, not now, no. Make him not want to know. Paris, 1763, number 12 on Rue des Martyrs. No. I yeah. beg you, please trust me. He's manipulating you. We must leave. Paris. Can't you see he wants you? And he'll do anything to turn you against me? Number 12 on Rue des Martyrs. He had to pay for what he did to me. I panicked. There oh. she was with the baby do. I thought it was the right time to touch it, but... Uh -huh. To touch it? By disemboweling her and stealing me from her? The girl the was fuck? already condemned to die. He never leaves any witnesses behind. She meant nothing to him. And I absolutely had to find a way of stopping him. I couldn't let him reproduce. I had to stop him propagating himself. Did you lost your mind or what? How did you stop him what by stealing the hell, guys? He was multiplying. I had to do something. It took me years to pick up his trail again, Louis. From the second I took you in, I couldn't bear to be apart from you. I looked after you, fed you, raised you, like a mother. I'm gonna use it again. I am your mother. I think that one's... I know. You always took care of me. Gosh, guys, I devoted this is... my whole life to teaching you to distinguish between right and wrong. So but you, you would took me have from my dad choice. and you killed mom. You are not like him. But, but but you never told me. I wanted to. I very nearly told you everything at least a dozen times. But you, you didn't. didn't. Though, did you? That's Why? the important part is I, you didn't. I don't didn't. know, Louis. Okay, I couldn't. Again. Not after Venice. Talk to me about Venice. Oh, no. Yeah. I... Louis, let's go. I'll tell you everything once we get home. Now come. You never wanted us to speak about it again. Winter, 1791, 
Do you remember? Louis, no. We agreed to never speak about it again. No, now tell I understand. me. understand. We were on the trail of a businessman. We broke into his place one night. Yeah. We ran into his wife. Not that, Louis. It's in the past. No, he you're going to tell me right pregnant. now. Was he Mortimer's as well? Louis, I... Answer. Yes. What became of the child? I gave it away. For him, too? You became his mother, didn't you? No, I gave him to a couple who couldn't have children. I never saw him but again. But you know that they're the demons afterwards. I saved all of you, Louis. I gave you a normal life. How, How many? many of us there are there? Are two of you. Louis, yes. I made mistakes in the past, but now I'm ready Do to... Do you consider me a mistake? No, not you. Yeah, what the hell? You are what I am most proud of in my whole But life. why can't you, you live... are good. Why can't you care you about Mortimer's life the same? You are not like him. Still, he is my father. Why did you steal me? You don't want to know, believe me. For once in your life, be honest. Why all this mess? Why do you have it? I'm using all my so resources, much? guys. Why? Because I'm his daughter. I know what he's doing. I see he has his eye on you. He's hovering around you, tempting you. He did it to me before you. And if you don't live up to his expectations, wait, are you a he demon will cast too? you away. Is that what happened to you? I wasn't good enough for him. So he rejected me. What do you mean? He tried to initiate me, but it would seem I am unable to develop his talent. Mom's my sister! My mind from my body. I get it. The reason why you abducted me is because he didn't love you, isn't it? He doesn't love anyone, Louis. Don't be taken in. Guys, I don't know what to think of this. I never want to see her again in spite of everything. She was right. Like she was okay. I'm taking a break here. Um, so Sarah was right. Like he is manipulating politicians, but like uh, he's trying to do stuff for the better. It seems maybe I'm not entirely sure. Like the thing is, like she hasn't really explained what the the evil part of this is. It's like so, what if he can control minds and stuff like that? Like he can influence their decisions. He is trying to do so in a peaceful way. I don't know, like, I I have a hard time, like, distrusting Mortimer, but I also have a hard time, like, abandoning Sarah, who's pretty much my sister, guys. Like, my half-sister, at least. And everyone's here. I forgive you entirely. You are my mother. Whatever you've done, I can't take that away from you. It doesn't excuse everything, but... In time, we will find a way of putting it all behind us. Oh, thank you, Louis. Thank now you. Now I need to go I back. I will never lie to you again. Come on, let's go. No, Mother. I'm not going back with you. I can't. What do you mean? Louis, you can't stay here. He I have to figure out what's going on. I, stay. I still have a lot to learn, but you go. Louis. I'll see you in Paris. Don't worry. Here, this is yours. Mom, or his sister. Don't forget, Louis. You've got the lance. You can beat him. If you hit him with it, he won't be able to escape from his mortal envelope, and he will die with it. Why would I do that? Like, why would I do that? That makes zero sense to me. Okay, I stopped Napoleon Bonaparte from getting the lance. What? I floored Napoleon Bonaparte. I persuaded Jacques Prou not to shoot. I arrived at the wharf where Sarah de Riche had been was wounded. I stopped Lady Hillsborough from shooting Sarah de Riche. I found out about my demon nature. I did not find out about Sarah de Riche's lie. I could have had a discussion with Manuel de Godoy. I know I could have, but I was also kind of worried that he would stop me and I'd have to punch him and my effort points would be, you know, kaput. Oh my gosh, eight points. Oh, wow. Um, I could level up so much. I, I, do I want to be, like, a well-rounded character? Because, like, three, two... Um... Psychology, I... That would be a lot of fun. 
the thing is, like, we're in chapter four right now. I'm kind of confused because I'm getting all this stuff, and it's like, am I going to be able to use this afterwards? Because I want to put all of it in psychology. I, I think psychology is very useful. Yeah, I'm going to do it, guys. Max it out. Cool. All psychology, or... Or, okay, so when I, max, when I max something out, um, the skill use is free. And, like, dialogue, options, and actions, conviction, politics, linguistics, or I could put in science. Ten. Oh, guys, this is a tough to choice. This is a really tough choice. I'm tempted to put it all in there really tempted. But I also think science is super important to know. It's cost effort points by three, and what about subterfuges? I, I need nine points for that. <sighs> There's one that, like, required six, right? Seven, six, eight, nine. Nope. Okay, so then I could get that Or I could unlock all of these. Okay, that's what I'm gonna use. And I can't equip any manuscripts. Which sucks, but... I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed Rational to do open. here. I spent my whole life swimming in lies. Yeah, that's enough to really make you want to puke. <laughs> Emily, what a waste. I feel like I know nothing. That I have to learn everything all over again. I'm a yeah. demon. I age more slowly. I can mentally manipulate people. I don't even know if it's a good thing or a curse. Existential crisis. It's no. good. No, this is an advantage. It is. I can get used to this pretty quickly, I think. Damn it! What a mess! Come on, man up, Louis. Oh, don't I'm use still the tart that. Old me. Demon or not, I'm still in charge of my actions. And this father, I know nothing about. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of a struggle. I've still got a lot to learn. It's enough to drive you crazy. Everything I believed in, nothing holds true anymore. Pull yourself okay. together, man. So, I need to find some answers. <laughs> you need to calm down. You There's need no to make yourself some for tea. A minute? Um, you've actually been alone for quite a while. Is our room nicer now? Dad, why'd you put all this horrible stuff in our room if you knew that I was your son? Really? It's daytime, which is nice. Hello? It's George, isn't it? Sir Dad. Gregory? Ew. Please don't get good that day. close to my face. I think it would be good to talk. How are you feeling? Um, I don't know. Confused. I understand. Like I heard that William spoke to you at last about our nature and our family. It's a good thing, but you must be a bit shaken up. Yeah, that's the least I don't you can trust say. Trust you. You've I got this you evil vibe to you us, still, Louis. Knowing William, he probably didn't go into any detail about our family. No, so if he you have didn't. any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Well, actually, he did. Don't read his mind. Um, how long have we been in existence? How many are there? Uh, yeah. How, how long, long we... has our family been in existence? Probably like we hundreds of years. We have been here since oh. the very beginning. What do you mean, exactly? Oh, are you trying to get information from me? Uh, I, no, not at all. I, I was just wondering why that particular question seemed to disturb you. Uh, let us not insist, then. You yourself weren't very convinced by the question, it seems. What? How many of us are there in the family? Yeah. We are eight brothers and sisters. What do you mean by brothers and sisters if we can change bodies? You reason yeah. with logic. Uh, we have retained the human habit. When we first come into this world, we retain a certain attachment to our first envelope. Okay. If we are born as a man, we are brothers. If we are born as a woman, we 
are sisters. But I must admit, it has absolutely no real importance. Okay. They're just bodies. Why'd you choose such an ugly body? That's my question, dude. Um, are there any other well, Tell families? me then. Are there any other families like ours? Or were they there all are officially out? seven, but we're yeah. the oldest and therefore the most powerful. Okay, let us say no more. Um, is there, is a, there a head, head of the family? Which is You'll father. See. You'll meet them all, of course, when you are ready. They created us and set out the rules, uh -huh. especially our father. As well, for our okay, mother, then. she retired from the political stage. We don't see her much anymore. I think that all these questions simply bore her. Uh-huh. What's Mort Lord Mortimer's problem? I think he allows himself to be devoured by a need for recognition. Has he always been like that? More or less, but thinking about it, I believe that the birth of our latest sibling greatly accentuated his discomfort. Do you think he's jealous? Yeah. I didn't realize you were so good at behavioral analysis. Indeed, William certainly is prone to jealousy. Okay. Finding one's place, notably in the eyes of our father, is not easy. And we each do what we can to succeed. But I can't justify this perpetual rebellion against our rules. What are the I rules? I see. There is still much to learn. Yes, it's true. You've got some catching up to do, my boy. Yeah, no One shit. thing you must understand regarding any disagreements that might arise between William and myself is his position with regard to mankind. Okay. What do you mean? Well, for centuries we've been trying to help and therefore preserve humanity. Mm -hmm. Monarchies are simple and practical. They no. enable us to inspire humanity efficiently and I can't understand why William wants to replace I 110% know why he... No. Monarchies are fucking useless. But... If your intention is not to dominate the human race, why not let them be master of their own destinies? Because I perfectly understand less. this type of reaction from you. Less from William. The main thing you're lacking is time. Man is transient. And one of his particularities is that he does not learn from the errors of his peers. He uses up an incredible amount of energy building and destroying whatever he himself has put into place. Okay. If we weren't here to help them, guide them, I sincerely believe that humanity would have become extinct by now. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we are eternal, Louis. When we plan ahead, we do it for the long term. Here's the definition of despotism. The exercise of absolute... Oh, cool. Yeah. That's more like despotism. Yes, I, I understand, but that's more like tyranny, isn't it? Well, it's all a question of your point of view. <laughs> yeah. um, if you are not the tyrant. View, I can understand how he would have that impression, if ever he found out. But don't forget your true nature. From the demon's point of view, in other words, ours, letting man do as he thinks fit would equate to letting him race to his own demise. But... Then what about man's freedom to choose? There that isn't really any. is man's worst enemy, Louis. Imagine a creature that dies without reaching the age of adulthood. It remains a child. We have to help him, otherwise he will put himself in danger. Really? No. It has taken centuries for our family to establish relative peace between demons. Okay. Thanks to this policy, we have been able to decide everything by confining the other families to subordinate roles. And now William is obsessed with disrupting everything. Peace between demons? What do you mean? I'm not talking about conflicts within our family. If that was all there was, everything would be fine. Uh -huh. But several other families, younger but nonetheless powerful, are trying to upset the balance. At present, we dominate most of the major countries around the globe. But some families are pushing, via less influential countries, to gain ground. Do you okay. understand? As best I can, yes. When the time comes, you must take up a position on the political chessboard. I All only right. hope your father uh. doesn't take you down with him. Is this an, um... Uh, Is he in danger? Are you suggesting he, he might be in danger? Well, Louis... Our father's patience is not limitless. What, if William so ever does go him? too far, then yes, he will be in danger. 
I want you to make but it he's pushing for democracy, now, which is better, better than monarchy. Say. It's not. I, I don't know if it's the best solution yet, but like democracy exactly is definitely what what's going to do better Thank for you, history. Thank you, Uncle. Don't mention it. If I've been able to help you in any way, go now. Okay. Well, okay. Um. All right, guys. Uh. <laughs> that's gonna be it for this episode because holy crap was that so much like that was not the turn like i i was expecting that lord murmur was going to be louis's father that was kind of obvious from the get-go it just the like the story kind of gave off vibes of that i did have as soon as i found out about demons i did have a sneaking suspicion that louis was going to be a demon um and that ties in with the whole mortimer is a father kind of thing um However, I was expecting, like, Lord Mortimer and Sarah to have been, like, like, I wasn't expecting Sarah to not be my mother. Like, not to be my biological mother. Like, as Louis said, st still said, like, she's still his mother, but it's not the exact same as it was before, especially knowing that she killed his biological mother. Um, I want to know if, if she said, she mentioned that uh, Lord Mortimer did not actually care for his for for his mother and she, he was going to do away with her anyways I don't feel good that he killed Elizabeth that is not something I'm happy with um and I don't know like I just I'm having like a tough time like kind of figuring out like what's good what's wrong um and I can't believe that this late into the game they are throwing stuff like uh <laughs> they're throwing stuff like um new abilities at me because that's not something i was expecting i thought i was just going to fill up my skill tree but now i've got other stuff and now the devil's thorn is more useful and i'm going to go back and like find all of it um because <laughs> it's so it's so helpful now because it helps me with my mind reading i was kind of curious to try and do the mind reading on home but i felt like that would not have ended well i will ask um I'll ask William about what's going on and kind of figure out from him, or, you know, dad, as he is to Louis now. But anyways, let me know if, like, how are you guys liking this so far? Were you guys expecting that kind of twist? Because I was expecting a small twist, but just not that much. And that was, like, so much information being thrown at me all at once. I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. But we're going to find out more about Louis's powers, um later on uh, in the next episode and kind of figure out what Sarah's secret was. I, I'm going to have to ask Mortimer. I somehow failed with Sarah's secret, um, but I, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try my best. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.